I do want to jump right into our interview and start with when Mr. F Mr. Mandela was in Gabon, we told that you were his interpreter. Just tell us of what your experience of him was. Yes, correct. But first of all, uh, allow me to just wish a happy birthday to Madiba uh, and to pay tribute to Mr. Mason Mandela. It is true that uh, I had uh, the honor and the opportunity uh, to work for him when he was visiting Gabon. I was then the official interpreter of late Omar Bongo Dimba, uh, president of the Gabonese Republic. And uh, President Mandela was visiting Gabon and I was there to organize a communication between them. And what do, you, uh, what do you remember of those times? Because, I mean, you being that close and being right in the, in the middle of those conversations between Mr. Mandela and the former president, as you've mentioned, what, what, was, what was the sense that you got about him? Uh, first of all, when I first met President Mandela uh, in, uh, in Pretoria, when he was uh, just released from uh, jail, because I was a member of the team who was uh, sent to South Africa to extend an invitation to him to pay a visit to Gabon. I, I met with a number man full of uh, generosity, charming man, and he was, it was a wise man talking to us and happy to visit Gabon. And let me just uh, stress that Gabon was the first country he ever visited after his release. And when he came here, President Mandela never recalled the time spent in jail. What he, was, he would always convey to us as a message is wisdom, generosity, love for others, and always work for the development of our country and the human being was the essential mission for us here on earth that was always what it will recall us to do charming man and what was because as you're saying it, gabon was the first country that he visited when when he was released from jail he came there in 1990 he came again at the end of his presidency in 1999 what was the relationship that he had with gabon okay uh, president Mabongo Ndimba was an africanist and he was always eager to help African citizens and he, he helped the, the liberation movements as ANC, SWAPO and others. And President Mandela wanted to just uh, pay tribute to President Omar Bongo Ndimba for his courage because it, it was a political courage to help ANC or others at a time when apartheid was the only policy or the only way of the, the dialogue. Apartheid was a dialogue, was a, a way of uh, running a country. And President Mandela wanted to pay tribute and to thank President Bongo for helping ANC during this difficult moment while he was in jail in order for ANC to be to continue competing or struggling for peace or for the liberation of the the, 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 the black South Africans. Madame Gondry, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you so much for giving us some insight. And, and here in South Africa, we're going to be talking about this the whole day, but to hear from another African country about Mr. Mandela's contribution and the heart that he has for some of the people that helped and some of the countries that helped South Africa to be where it is today. Thank you so much for joining us.